Hey there, welcome to today's review and today is going to be a vlog stroke review and it's going to be a review of the Kit Kat, Kat, Kit Kat, Kit Cam app, not Kit Kat, chocolate on the brain. Um, I'm going to use, instead of doing a normal in-depth review, I'm just going to do a review and show you the different photos and videos that the app can do rather than just show you all the different controls. So underneath each I will let you know which filter and lens I'm using just so you can see how it works and I hope you enjoy it. Next up I've got two photos for you. This one was taken with the Colour Vibe film and my dessert was taken with the Brooklyn film and neither had any lenses on them. And again this one was taken with the Brooklyn film and no lens. So this is the blowout lens again and the newsprint film. Now I think it's quite a good black and white one, it takes some really good pictures as well. The thing I like about the lenses um, is that you can adjust them while you're filming. So like for example now, I'll just show you, if you just pinch and, and your fingers on the screen, it alters it for you so you can decide how much of the background you want to blur out and then again if you want to adjust it, you can just use your fingers. I think it's quite handy really to be able to do when you're filming just in case you need to adjust it to the light as you're going around filming. Now when you've taken your picture, um, if you go into the fold where all your pictures are kept, this is where you can also edit it as well if you want to. There's an option to find details about it first of all there. And there you can see um, that you've had a used a film, you've used no lens, and it'll tell you what time and day and things if you set it up to do that of course with your location. Then if you want to share it, you hit that button and you can share it to all those different places. And if you want to edit it, you can click that button and it brings up all the different options to be able to edit it. So you can do the, um, have a clarify it if you like, like so, but we'll add none there. And then that's where you do all the different things like rotation and things like that or to turn it round. Then you've got your different films again, you can just tap it if you want to change the film, so if you want to change to any of the different ones you can do. like so. I think we'll stick with that one and if you want to change or add a lens should I say, you tap that button and these are all the different lenses so you've got your vign vignette, blowout which seems to be my favourite one at the moment, it has a really nice effect on it. You've got line tilt, and there's quite a few, dreamer which is a nice dreamy picture. Right time one. Then at the very end they have three as you can see here um, which if you wanted to buy them you can do in app. It's them, just them three and the same goes with the films as well as three that you can buy. But as you can see there are loads already included within the app and if you want to you can also frame it. These are all the different frames. But it's really easy to use. Um, I'm slowly getting the hang of things now with it. It's really easy to adjust things uh, to suit how you want your pictures to go. There's lots of tweaks you can do with it anyway. So let me know what you think in the comments below or what um, photography app is your favourite and thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.